Hey everybody, Nikki Robinson here. And first off, happy new year, happy 2024. I am so glad that you decided to jumpstart your 2024 fitness journey with me. Today, we're gonna to start our 21 day challenge. If you've done the previous challenges that I've done last summer, then you've seen that I've done the two 14 day challenges. I've decided to add an extra week and we're gonna do a 21 day challenge. And this is gonna be intense, but it's gonna feel so amazing. And I already know at the end of the 21 days, you're gonna feel absolutely amazing and empowered to continue on in your fitness journey. And I'm excited to bring this to you. So our day one is going to be a little bit different from our previous day ones, as, today one, as today's day one is going to be our fit test. So what I need you to do is grab a piece of paper and a pen and write down those exercises that's in the description box below. And after each exercise that we do today, I want you to write out as however many reps that you completed during that, that one minute exercise session, okay? So for example, first exercise is gonna be switch kicks. So however many switch kicks you do, make sure you're counting them out and just remember that number. And at the end of that, while during our rest period, just write it out and keep that piece of paper for the end of the 21 days because we're going to end out our challenge with another fit test. And I wanna see if your numbers have improved because that's the point of fitness and the journey of fitness is to improve over time. And so today is our fit test. It's still gonna be an intense workout. And so go ahead, grab that piece of paper, write those exercises below and let's get started. I'm so excited. Let's jump on in and y'all 21 days. I need your intensity. I need your focus. I need you to be dedicated. I know there's going to be times it's going to be tough, but I am with you every single step of the way. Every day we're here, I'm with you. So go ahead, write it down, get your water. We're no, we don't need any weights for this one. No dumbbells, kettlebells, anything. It's all body weight exercises and let's get started. I'm so excited. Let's go. Okay guys, so we're just gonna start off with a quick warm up, three rounds, six exercises. You do not need to track these numbers. This is just to get our muscles nice and loose for the workout. So don't track these. Let's get started on the warm up.
Okay guys, warm up is complete. Now, I hope you grabbed your pen and your paper and you wrote down each exercise that we're going to do. Again, it's 10 different exercises and we're doing it for one minute each. We'll have about a 45 second rest in between each one, but I want you to count your reps. However many reps that you have after each exercise, just go ahead, write that number at the very end. At the end, I'm gonna share my results and I'm so looking forward to seeing what the results will be after the 21 days. I'm even wondering if my results will improve after the 21 days. So let's go ahead and see. We're going to start with the switch kicks. All right, you can go high pace or as slow as you can. Let's get in position. Let's start, switch kicks, let's go. You can do it just like how I'm doing it with a hop or just like this. Make sure you're counting. Come on, keep that core tight. Thirty seconds. Woo! 45 second rest. I'm gonna go ahead and write down however many I got, which was 72. 72 switch kicks. Woo! Oh, this is gonna be challenging. Next, we're gonna be doing power jacks. Power jacks goes like this, down, up. All right, try to get as many as you can. We got this, guys. 
15 more seconds, starting at the top. Five seconds. Starting power jacks. Thirty seconds. Whew. Huh. Fifty nine. Oh, my goodness. Catch your breath. Whew, this is good. Next, we're going into power knees. Power knees looks like this. We're only going to stay on one side. Get some water if you need water. Shake it out, guys. Again, this is the fit test. Try to get as many as you can. But again, this is just our baseline. At the very end of the, of the challenge, we'll see how we improved. Come on. Let's go power knees. Power. Thirty seconds. Oh my goodness. We're doing amazing. Next one is going to be power jumps. Power jumps looks like this. And I'll also give you an alter, uh, uh, modification for those who can't do it. Power jumps up, hit your knees, hit your knees. If you can't do it, just go one knee at a time. All right, do what works for you. Make sure you stay safe. All right, power jumps, guys. Let's go, power jumps. Whew. Check it out. Come on. 30 seconds. Keep going. Even though you're seeing me take a break, you keep going. But do as many as you can. Let's go. That one was hard. 52. Oh my gosh. Catch your breath. 
Next, we're going against the far frog jumps. Oh, I guess my breath. Frog jumps. It leaps backwards and forwards. Each leap is one rep. Catch your breath. Get some water if you need it. Come on, guys. Okay, I have to keep going. This is our fit test. Whew. Whew. Come on. Whew. Frog jumps. Let's go. Keep going, I gotta shake it out. Come on. Woo! Oh my gosh. Oh, that was hard. 39. Come on. I can't wait to hear your numbers and what you started with your fifth test. Even though it's just a test, it's still a workout. Woo. Next one is burpees. It goes down, back, up, stand up. That's one full rep. Woo. Some water. Starting at the top with burpees. Come on, guys. Keep it going. Come on. A 19. Oh my goodness. Almost there, guys. We have four more exercises. I hope you're hanging in there. Next one, we're gonna do side to side drills. It goes like this down, little shuffle, each tap on the floor, one rep. If you need to walk it over, and touch it down, perfectly fine. But we're gonna work on that shuffle. Five seconds, come on. Let's go. Ah! <sighs> 
my gosh. I felt like I lost count, but I think it was 54. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think it was 54. May need to go back and watch this film and see what my exact number was. <sighs> Three more exercises, guys. Next one, we're doing power squats. It looks like this. You're jumping down. Boom, break up. Boom, back up. Give it power. If you can't do the jump, just do a regular air squat. Go bend as far down as you can. Power squats, let's go. All right, guys, next one we're gonna do push ups. I know push ups aren't everyone's favorite, but we gotta test that upper body strength. So you can do push ups on your toes or push ups on your knees. Whatever works for you, just try to get that chest as low to the ground as possible. Woo! Get some water if you need it. We're starting. Five seconds. Let's go. I thought I was gonna breeze through this. I guess not. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh my gosh, come on. Let's go. Oh my gosh. 41. Oh. I thought I was gonna get at least 50 with those. <sighs> Can't wait to see what the end of the fit test is gonna be for those. <sighs> Leg lifts are the last exercise, guys. Let's test out that core. Leg lift goes like this <sighs> on your back. Go down, bring it up. If you can't bring your legs, you can always tap your heels and bring your knees to your chest. <sighs> Whatever works for you. Put your hands under your glutes for stabilization. Woo! This is our last exercise cup. Guys, we're doing so well. Come on. Starting. Let's go. Keep it going. Ah. Ah. 
Good job, guys. I got 35 there. I'm actually surprised on my numbers. I keep thinking I'm gonna get way more than what I did, but it's okay. This is the foundation. This is the baseline. That's why we're doing the fit test, just to see where we are. You guys did fantastic. Good job. You see, I'm sweating. It was still a workout. Even though it was a test, it was still a workout. Let's hurry, get in line to stretch and don't be afraid to drop your numbers below. I want to see in here about your numbers. Where did you start? Where's your baseline? Put them in the comments section so all of us can see where you started. Okay, let's go ahead, get ready to stretch. Breathe in. Down to plie. Remember, stretching is always very important after a workout. I do a light stretch with you at the end, but if you feel like you have to do more, definitely do so. I also recommend foam rolling, Epsom salt baths, anything to really massage your joints and your muscles. You're gonna be sore, but sore is okay, all right? We just don't want injury. So make sure we're doing a proper warm up, proper cool down and stretch, very important. Woo! Bring it up. Other side. Bring it around. Other side. up overhead. As you can see, I always do the same stretch at the very end, just to try to grab all those little major muscle groups, but definitely do more stretching if you feel like you need it. If there's an area that is hurting or a little bit more tense than others, stretch it out, foam roll a bit more. Just breathe in. Breathe in. Good job, guys. All right, guys, the fit test is now complete. I hope you're feeling amazing. And again, I wanna see what your numbers are. So drop them below. I'm gonna keep track of my numbers, put them in a safe place, take a picture of it. Whatever you do, do not lose track of those numbers because we're gonna do this fit test at the very end of the challenge. And we're gonna see if our cardiovascular uh, is, has improved, if our strength has improved, because that is the goal. The goal of fitness is progression. It's not just about a quick fix. It's progression over time, and that is why I'm here. I'm your coach. Let's do this.